Well, good morning, Walden Church. It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day Sunday, and I know why does this feel like this always happens to moms, right? Moms always get the short end of the stick. We missed Easter. Mother's Day is another huge day where we all come to church. Wouldn't you know it, we're going to be open for Father's Day, but not Mother's Day. So I wanted to make sure before we got into the sermon this morning that we acknowledged and recognized our moms out there. Please, the mothers that are in your life, make sure you call them and wish them a happy Mother's Day. I wanted to read a passage of scripture for you and I wanted to read a poem for you and we'll put those together and this will be our Mother's Day devotional. This is Proverbs 31. An excellent wife, who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. She considers a field and she buys it. With the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all, he says. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. The next thing I want to read to you is a poem. This is a, a story, a little thing that was written up in a book called It's a Girl, Dialogues from a Princess. The story is told that when the good Lord was creating mothers, he was into his sixth day of overtime, and an angel appeared to him and said, you sure are taking a lot of time on this one. God said, have you seen the specs on this order? She has to be completely washable, but not plastic. She has to have 180 movable parts, all replaceable. She has to run on black coffee and leftovers, have a lap that disappears when she stands up, and a kiss that can cure anything from a broken leg to disappointment, and six pairs of hands. The angel shook his head slowly and said, six pairs of hands? No way. It's not the hands that are causing me problems, God said. It's the three pairs of eyes that mothers have to have. This is all on the standard model, the angel said. God nodded. One pair that sees through closed doors when she says, what are you kids doing in there? And she knows what they're doing in there. There has to be another on the back of her head that sees what she shouldn't, but what she has to know. And of course, the ones here in front that can look at a child when he goofs up, as if to say, I understand and I love you, without even uttering a word. God, said the angel, gently touching his sleeve, you need to get some rest tomorrow. I can't, said God. I'm so close to creating something, so close to myself. Already I have one who heals herself when she is sick, can feed a family of six on one pound of hamburger, and who can get a nine-year-old to take a bath. The angel circled the model of the mother very slowly. It's too soft, he said, but it's tough, God said excitedly. You can imagine what this kind of mother can do or can endure. Can it think, said the angel? Not only can it think, but it can reason and it can compromise, said God. Finally, the angel bent over and ran his finger across the cheek. Uh, I think you have a leak, he said. I told you that you are putting too much on this model. It's not a leak, said the Lord. It's a tear. 
What's it for? said the angel. It's for joy. It's for sadness. It's for disappointment. And it's for pain. It's for loneliness. And it's for love. And it's for pride. You're a genius, said the angel. Happy Mother's Day to you and yours. Like I said, call those mothers that are in your life. Wish them Happy Mother's Day. Thank you guys. Have a great day.